Reeling from the news of Nelson Mandela's death when baby Jake Matala passed away two days later, both loved the sport of boxing. They both passionately loved boxing. Tall and short in their structure and had strong punches. Matala was at his very best in the 1990s, a period during which he won 20 titles, suffering only two defeats. He always attributed his illustrious career to a clean lifestyle. He was an individual whom we can characterize as a real paragon of human perfection. Baby Jake, our brother, our father, you have done well. You have given us an honor amongst nations to be proud South Africans. Mbalula announced that the Dube Boxing Gym will be named after Matala. After his retirement, he got involved in community upliftment projects. Baby Jake, he offered his time to serve people. He offers his time uh, to assist people in their needs. And he was always in smiling with infectious smile. Those who were close to Matala labeled him as a devoted family man. I thank God for the moments we spent with him. And I thank God for blessing me and my brother with such a special man. And I know if me and Maseva could be half the man yes. that my dad was, we would truly be great men. Matala ended his 30-year boxing career by stopping Juan Herrera for the WBU Junior Flyweight title. He presented his title belt to former President Nelson Mandela and remains the only South African to have won four titles in different divisions. Matala displayed natural warmth and with his diminutive size and glowing smile, he became one of South Africa's most popular sports personalities. Mourners gathered here today say Matala, who is survived by his wife and two sons, will be remembered for his humility. Lebohan Tube, SABC News, Johannesburg.